COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating impact on humanity. I sympathize deeply with all who have lost their loved ones during the pandemic. Sri Lanka has been very successful in its vaccination program. We have already fully vaccinated nearly all those above the age of 30. Everyone over the age of 20 will be fully vaccinated by the end of October. The economic impact of the pandemic has been especially severe on developing countries. This has placed the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals. Sri Lanka is establishing a regional knowledge hub to facilitate exchange of lessons learned from COVID-19 and support countries to recover better. The world faces the even greater challenge of climate change. As a climate vulnerable country, Sri Lanka is deeply aware of the dangers of climate change. Sri Lanka's philosophical heritage, deeply rooted in Lord Buddha's teachings, sustainability is a cornerstone of Sri Lanka's national policy framework. Because of its impact on soil fertility, biodiversity, waterways and health, my government completely banned the use of chemical fertilizer, pesticides and weedicides earlier this year. I appreciate the encouragement received from many global institutions and nations for our efforts to create a more sustainable agriculture in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka recognizes the urgent need to reduce use of fossil fuel and support decarbonization. Our energy policy seeks to increase the contribution of renewable sources such as solar, wind and hydropower to 70% of our national energy need by 2030. Sri Lanka welcomes the support of the international community as it engages in the task of reviving its economy. My government is focusing on extensive legal, regulatory, administrative and educational reform to facilitate this and to deliver prosperity to all our people. Sri Lanka experienced the devastation wrought by extremist religious terrorists in the Easter Sunday attack. Until 2009, it had suffered from a separatist terrorist war for 30 years. Terrorism is a global challenge that requires international cooperation, especially on matters such as intelligence sharing, if it is to be overcome. My government is committed to ensuring that such violence never takes place in Sri Lanka again. Sri Lanka's parliament, judiciary, and its range of independent statutory bodies should have unrestricted scope to exercise their functions and responsibilities. It is my government's firm intention to build a prosperous, stable and secure future for all Sri Lankans, regardless of ethnicity, religion or gender. I request the United Nations and the international community to ensure the protection of the Buddhist heritage of Afghanistan. It is the role of the United Nations to facilitate this by treating all sovereign states irrespective of size or strength equitably and with due respect for their institutions and their heritage. Dinapata Alut video saha pravurti narami mata e the button nika click kar see the TV subscribe karana. If you like this video, please click on the bell icon.